And he's there to heal you too. He loves you with the same love that he has for Cynthia. She had to get through all the lies that she wasn't worthy. And maybe you have to get through those lies too. Because anything that is forcing you to say, well, I haven't prayed enough, or I haven't fasted enough, or I haven't given enough, or I haven't read the Bible enough, or I didn't go to church last week enough, all of those things are showing that you don't think you're worthy. They're, you're actually confessing your unbelief. Faith works through love. And when you get it, when you finally understand, he wants to fill you to overflowing with his love, his acceptance. When you understand God is love, he can't help but love you. That's what drove Jesus to the cross. He was compelled by love to do it for the joy set before him. You are the joy that caused Jesus to endure the cross where he said, I'll pay the penalty. I'll take it all on me. I want to care for my children. I'll take it all. And in that, in that wonderful revelation, you become worthy because you understand, well, if Jesus thinks I'm worth the sacrifice, well, maybe I should start thinking that too. Maybe I should understand that I can be a child of God. And more than can be, I am a child of God because he makes me that way. You can be a whosoever would believe on him, would not perish and have everlasting life. To those who believe in him, he gives them the power, the authority to become the children of God. And when you have that position, well, then you can go boldly to the throne of grace and get an answer to your prayer. It's not based on your fasting. It's not based on anything that you call works. You know, you can't do enough good deeds. You can't think enough good thoughts. All of those things are, are worthless. They, they don't get you there. But here's the great news. Jesus brings you there. And when you rely on him, you get all the faith that you need. Let him fill you with your, his love right now. Let him open your eyes, open your ears to understand the greatness of his power towards us who believe. Just be like a little child. Yes, daddy. You say, I'm, I'm, I'm wonderful. I believe it. I, I want that. I want to have that knowledge. I want to have that revelation. And we're going to pray for you. Before we pray, here's some other miracles. Here's uh, one from February this year. Uh, we were watching the 700 Club. This is June and John. Ashley Key said, someone is watching with severe anemia. I believe God is touching your body right now. He is doing an absolute miracle. I believe you're going to go back to the doctors. They're going to be amazed. They're not going to have a medical explanation for what happened in your body. I just believe God is touching you right now. Just receive it in Jesus' name. You're healed. Well, we had an appointment that very afternoon, and the hematologist asked John what we had done different, as all his numbers from his blood work had gone up. We told him that he was healed. We just went back yesterday, and the numbers are steadily increasing. We are so thankful. We just celebrated our 60th wedding anniversary. To God be the glory, and let us pray. Lord, we come to you right now. We come to you rejoicing over the miracles that you do. We rejoice in your love towards us, that while we were yet sinners, you died for us. This is the greatest love the universe has ever seen. We thank you for it. Now, fill us to overflowing with your love. Let us know how much we're accepted in you, how you want to cleanse us, make us new, give us everything that we need, Provide for our bodies, our healing. You do it all. So we ask for it now. Heal us, Lord, and we will be healed. There's someone you have a severe lung infection. It's primarily in your left lung, and it's just searing pain to just even breathe. God is healing you right now. He's restoring breath and vitality. He's restoring your youth, your vigor. Just receive it right now 
in Jesus' name. Ashley? Yeah, I believe somebody's watching and you just heard the testimony of God healing somebody with anemia and I just heard sickle cell anemia and there's somebody experiencing tremendous pain because of that right now. Mm. And you're, you're, you're doubting that God can even heal you of this disease and there is nothing impossible. There's not one thing too big for your heavenly father to heal you of to, and to set you free. And I believe he's healing you completely and setting you free from sickle cell anemia in the name of Jesus. Amen. God is able to cleanse your blood and remake your DNA. Just believe it now. Yes. If you need prayer, we're here for you. We're here for you 24 hours a day. All you have to do is call us.